at the point when this kind of pandemonium drives it out into the infection-dim profundities of intergalactic space. Then again, planets could be expelled from their circles, bang into one another, or even impact their host stars due to these gravitational aggravations. When gas and buildup are compacted under very high strain, gravitational enhancing can truly make new superb bodies form or perhaps start stars to emerge in our sunlight-based system. The late significant blast recommends that around for very some time earlier there was a period of extended influences, including comets and space rocks. This flood essentially is acknowledged to have come about in light of appealing energy-disrupting impacts achieved by the external planets during this fierce stage. Gas beast science like Jupiter and Saturn were going through movement disturbing the circles of different more unobtrusive bodies in the Kuiper Belt and Asteroid Belt. As a result, these more humble things were thrown into impulsive ways, with numerous advancing into the inner close by planet bunch. This deluge provoked a critical rising in impacts on the terrestrial planets, including Earth. While these effects did not include direct clashes between planets, they show how gravitational affiliations can bring about huge changes in the directions of heavenly bodies. This blast is made sure to have played an indispensable work in embellishing the surfaces and geological stories of planets in our planetary group. Moreover, it may have added to the movement of water and regular materials to Earth, influencing the improvement of our planet over an extended period. As stars go through changes in mass flows, then bits of planets around them could wind and perhaps cross. This is especially recognizable in structures where stars are toward the end of their life cycle. As a star ages and consumes its nuclear fuel, it frequently goes through colossal mass changes, especially during stages like the Red Giant stage or when it releases material in a planetary cloud. These assortments in stellar mass can basically impact the gravitational equilibrium of the structure, causing the circles of adjoining planets to either move outward or become more compressed. This is more inclined to happen in multi-star systems where complex gravitational joint efforts can without a very remarkable stretch lead to fickle circles. In such systems, the gravitational forces from different stars can collaborate capriciously, powering orbital shift and growing the potential outcomes of circles joining. This can bring about conditions where planets could get flung out by another star, ram into other superb bodies, or even have chance encounters into interstellar space. Pluto's exceptional circle, at first recognized as an unquestionable person from the planetary family, went through a renaming in the end being dubbed as a dwarf planet, inferable from its specific circle. The cosmology neighborhood is at this point invigorated by it and finds it fascinating. Even with this change, there's excuse to be stressing out concerning the close of Pluto bundle to Neptunes, as shown by later measures made by well-known specialists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku. These specialists are sounding the caution about a grave risk to Earth. The credibility of a crash between the planets Pluto isn't typical for another planet in our makes planetary gathering, and that its circle around the Sun is so extraordinary. Pluto is far away from the Sun, of course, so the Sun is on numerous occasions fainter than it is here on Earth, so its frosty temperatures are reduced to around minus 230 degrees Celsius. During the nighttime in a force wave, it could get as high as 170 degrees Celsius. It has an astoundingly unstable atmosphere. Two welcome curious characters to an examination past the normal spaces of our planetary group. Imagine a situation where I let you in on that Pluto, the far-off enigmatic dwarf planet, is at long last making its gigantic move, perhaps colliding with, as a matter of actuality, Neptune, the ice beast. Pluto's rebellious nature has been evident from the beginning, a rebel on the edges of our eminent region. Its circle strikingly experiencing another planet challenges the conventional guidelines of planetary transmission. I suggest that is no kind of direct for a planet. Right from the complex intricacies of Pluto's circle to the raised concerns voiced by astrophysical illuminators like Tyson and Kaku, a holding up request hangs in the huge balance. Will these wonderful goats partake in an accident course? Could the gathering of their methodology spell unexpected repercussions for our dearest planet Earth? Today, we set out on a vainglorious trip loaded up with weakness. While the reactions to these sublime requests could dodge us right now, the potential for an accident of such huge degree fills and is a particular update that the universe is a stage for events both motivating and maybe terrifying. Accompany us as we jump into the secrets that circle our perception of Pluto and Neptune. Thinking about the possible results of a heavenly struggle that could shape the endless balance of our close by planet bunch. The stage is set, 
and the spreading out show persuades us to observe the mysterious dance of the planets, among other potential space disasters. The universe harbors an assortment of questions, and among them is the multi-layered puzzle known as the three-body issue. But researchers expect other anticipated disturbances inside the glorious theater. Yet, a planet colliding with another in space is significantly implausible. It isn't actually out of the request. Gravitational interchanges, as portrayed by the three-body issue, are one of the powers that impact planet circles. An outline of a space structure where gravitational forces produce a discontinuous model known as orbital resonances is TRAPPIST-1, which has seven planets the size of Earth. As time slips by, these models could incapacitate planet circles working on the likelihood of accidents. What is happening rejects any accidents, regardless of the reality, truth that systems, for instance TRAPPIST-1, are extremely dense and planets impact one another's courses, especially when they are close. Scientists regularly monitor these structures to get a handle on this. With this information, we can all the almost certain grip how the planets travel through space. Another acknowledged part is nonconformist planets, which float imprudently in space, as opposed to in a circle around a star. Expulsion of planets from star structures can occur as an outcome of gravitational shifts or other infinite quirks. For instance, another star is close by the procedure or active unsteadiness in systems with more than one planet over the long haul. These wandering planets can travel amazing illuminations, possibly in any event, showing up at regions quite far from where they started. It's possible they will run into other star systems on their execution journey. The likelihood of a planet influence increases if one of these planets goes to another planetary gathering. In any case, a planet striking another planet head-on is entirely far-fetched, considering how gigantic and for the most part unfilled spaces. The sparsity of planets in open space and the vastness of interstellar distances collaborate to hinder unremitting impacts. It is at this point incredibly unrealistic that two renegade planets will influence. Yet the recurrence of dissident planets is far, far lower than that of stars. Additionally, in planets in stable circles, the star structures involved turn into wild in the event of a grandiose combination. It is significantly implausible that planets will influence head-on during these gigantic events due to the gigantic interstellar distances. The circles of stars and planets inside emerging astronomical systems are adjusted definitively by regions of strength for the gravitational forces. A planet could transform into a renegade world freed from any star around shaping the mystery created with the affirmation that Pluto's circle crosses that of Neptune. The three-body issue Pluto's circle stays stable in the middle of the intricacies, filling in as a showing of the inherent complexities of grand mechanics, valuing the movement and gravitational coordinated efforts of three incredible bodies like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, is known as the three-body issue. In space, Anticipating their interactions from their starting positions and the effects of gravity on one another is near. For Pluto, a portion of the terms that help to settle this cosmic mystery are azimuth vibration, scope libration, and the VZK faltering. According to astrophysicists, aim libration is critical because it keeps planets in their circles. When Pluto crosses Neptune's circle, it is no less than 90 degrees distant, which is a critical distance that prevents influences. As shown by this definition, applied to Pluto and Neptune, scope libration implying the vertical improvement of a superb body in its circle guarantees that at the point when Pluto approaches Neptune or other monster planets, it is arranged out and out over their orbital plane. Giving an additional layer of protection against crashes, a critical element in it is the VZK faltering, named after three researchers, Van, Lee, and Kai. They researched the gravitational joint efforts between three space objects, for instance, Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. The VZK faltering gets a handle on why Pluto's circle around the Sun appears unprecedented yet remains smooth over the long run. Not enduring the clear abnormality in space, fundamental models and rules monitor everything. These elements, in light of everything, settle Pluto's circle for slowing down influences with Neptune or deviations from its course. The three-body issue helps us with understanding how the gravitational PS of these space objects influence their way. Taking into account this adds similarly as anybody is concerned of Pluto, our planetary gathering in distant brilliant bodies numerical reenact in the last piece of the 1980s revealed that 
Notwithstanding steady properties, Pluto's circle is really tempestuous, with minor starting deviations inciting enormous differentiates more than great many years. Circle constancy. Regardless, Pluto's excellent circle shows striking constancy over wide periods, really directing anticipated commotion. Late virtual encounters have expanded our impression of the dispersed components, including huge planets like Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, influencing Pluto's immediate bearing around the Sun-Neptune's specific gravitational influence, completing three circles for every two of Pluto, basically adds to the overall of Pluto's orbital way. Jupiter's gravity is comparably critical, though less so than Saturn's. Taken as a whole, this huge number of perceptions shows that Pluto is in secure and reliable development across space over billions of years. It is ensured by the joint effect of Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune to keep the movements of heavenly bodies in the universe mentioned and obvious. These occasions are essential in the non-participation of these systems. The sun-based structure would be more fierce and furthermore fanciful. Working on the likelihood of accidents and releases from by in large reliable courses, which might have brought consequences for other heavenly bodies. Considering later hypothesis with regard to an unavoidable effect among Pluto and Neptune, it is major to comprehend Pluto's circle. With this information, the ever-changing planet in our gathering may be better understood. The case of Pluto shows how the complex association between orbital mechanics and gravitational powers might make obviously shaky circles achieve equilibrium. To all the more readily understand our spot in the universe, it is critical to endlessly notice and examine these events. Space examination routinely uncovered the accent approach to acting of prominent bodies. Pluto's circle is the commendable framework of this unusual lead. The instance of Pluto gives a striking framework of the chance of orbital disarray, which shows how the direction of a heavenly body is incredibly dependent upon its starting stage. Minor changes in the planet's region or speed can massively influence its orbital way. Long-haul scientists' appreciation of Pluto's development in space is for the most part due to automatic encounters to produce the gravitational associations among Pluto and other planetary bodies like Neptune. These reenactments use a tick mathematical models. Stargazers can see how little changes can thoroughly impact Pluto's direction. By controlling the models, these models revealed an enchanting piece of Pluto's heading in the last piece of the 1980s. The circle of Pluto can still be somewhat unconventional, regardless of the fact that it is settled by features like AIML and scope libration. When Pluto's situation or speed is somewhat off from the start, it can adjust its course essentially all through a couple of years. Indeed, even while Pluto is intrinsically wild, it stays stable for a very extended time frame, billions of years. This suggests that under its clearly capricious appearance, Pluto's outing around the Sun follows a coordinated solicitation. Assuming huge events, especially with planets like Pluto that have unpredictable circles, is very trying. The inherent whimsicalism of these structures makes long-haul figures uncertain. Numerical reenactments help us with understanding and anticipate the future ways of superb bodies, yet they similarly reveal the con points of our prelims. These models seriously depend upon exact initial circumstances and asset complex interchanges. For sure, even a little goof can incite basically different outcomes, making precise assumptions irksome. The wild nature of heavenly circles like Pluto assists us with recollecting the ever-changing unit universe. While we've made progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights are consistent with confounding data. Understanding the gravitational effects of beast planets on Pluto's circle gives significant insights into the greater components of the close-by-planet bunch. It shows how each planet's presence and position can impact the reliability and bearing of various bodies in the system. Worries of a normal effect among Pluto and Neptune, while enrapturing, are generally outlandish in light of our ongoing comprehension of divine mechanics. The stability of Pluto's circle, represented by complex gravitational relationships with other planets, ensures that such an event is incredibly implausible. The dance of heavenly bodies in our close-by-planet bunch, including Pluto and Neptune, is represented by dispersed gravitational forces and orbital components. While the chance of an accident between these distant planets streaks interest in hypothesis, the significant stability of their circles, kept up with by the laws of physics, mitigates such concerns. Through persistent insight assessment and numerical amusements, 
specialists continue to expand on how they may interpret Pluto's original trip through space, revealing insight into the more broad secrets of our dynamic universe.